We took a personalized tour of the historic Cyberling Mansion in Kokomo. It's in serious need of repairs. City leaders want to preserve it, but they say there's no way they can do that without help. Stepping into the mansion, you have to stop and gaze, not just at the deep crimson walls, arched woodwork, and the stunning Victorian staircase, but how life was like 126 years ago. Well, you're at the Cyberling. We're here to preserve history, and we're very proud of this old house. Goldie Snavely is a volunteer hostess at Cyberling. And each one of these rooms have different woodwork, like this was black walnut, uh, the other was red oak. The mansion was built in 1890 for Ohio industrialist Monroe Cyberling and his family. They came to the area after the discovery of natural gas. Cyberling started the Kokomo Strawboard Company and then expanded his business quickly throughout the state. His mansion is a mixture of neo-Jacobian and Romanesque revival styles. Interior woodwork is made of native trees with ornate design and adorns the ceiling and trim work. The mansion includes eight rooms on the first floor, seven on the second, and a grand ballroom on the third floor. Howard County Historical Society Director Dave Broman says the building is more than a work of art. It represents the mark of economic change. In a sense, it's symbolic of what the community is now and the kind of industrialization that came in with the gas boom and made Kokomo into the community it is. The house was originally heated and illuminated by natural gas. This chandelier here uh, was used just as the gas and it was going out, the electricity was coming in. The mansion eventually became home to Indiana University at Kokomo for 20 years before it was taken over and restored by the Howard County Historical Society. At one point I lived uh, about six houses down uh, when my kids were very young, so they would play in the yard there a little bit. Uh, they, they thought it was, uh, if you look at the, uh, the size of the, of the, uh, of the mansion and, and all the uh, uh, details of the mansion, they always liked playing around it. But after some patches, the original slate roof can no longer be fixed. Water leaks are damaging some of the rooms. So Broman and other leaders started a community campaign talking to donors, sending out grant applications, and solidifying support from the county to raise $1 million needed to replace the roof. It is uh, reminding people of our history. Um, I can't think of a better way for our tax dollars to be spent than uh, preserving uh, you know, uh, what makes us unique and, and uh, something that uh, will tell our, our story to uh, future generations. So I would uh, defend that to the end. The Save Our Cybling, Cyberling, the Next 100 Years campaign kicked off last week. Broman says the Community Foundation of Howard County announced a $50,000 matching grant to get the campaign going. The goal is to wrap up the fundraising effort by the end of the year. Construction could begin in early 2017.